Smile and learn. Hi, everyone. How is it going? Imagine this situation. You are very hungry after a long day at school. You get home and see that dad is in the kitchen preparing something. So you ask, Hey, dad, what's for dinner? What would you think if he said, Dead stuff? <gasps> oh my gosh! Believe it or not, the food we eat is not far removed from dead stuff. Or even poop. That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, do you remember what a food chain is? A food chain is a process that shows how living things are connected by what they eat. We have already learned to classify aquatic and terrestrial food chains like these. But did you know that there's another way to classify food chains? Let's find out more about it. Green food chains. We have already seen many green food chains, also called predator food chains or grazing food chains. The first level of these food chains is a producer, which, important, is alive and makes its own food through photosynthesis. That's where the name green food chain comes from, because these producers are alive and green, like grass or any other living plant. Brown food chains. On the other hand, brown food chains, also called detritus food chains, don't start with living plants. They start with, you guessed it, dead stuff, yikes. How is this possible? Well, you know that all living things die, like plants, for example. Many plants are never eaten while they're alive. They live a long and happy life and then die, leaving their remains. Have you ever gone for a walk in the park in autumn? If you look at the ground, you'll see a lot of dead plant remains, like leaves, branches, and even roots. We call these remains detritus, or dead stuff, and they form the first level of brown food chains. Here, we can see this hungry worm eating some mm, delicious <laughs> dead stuff. Then, a chicken eats the poor worm. And later, a human eats the chicken. Wow! See? We're not too far removed from dead things in brown food chains. Brown food chains are extremely important for sustaining the Earth's ecosystems. In fact, 90% of the food chains on Earth are brown. Amazing, right? Did you know that when a whale dies and sinks to the bottom of the ocean, it creates food chains that can exist for months or even years? It's all because of the dead whale's detritus. This is what happens. The whale lives a long and happy life and then dies. The whale's body is converted into detritus with the help of the bacteria and fungi in the water. Then, other living creatures like crabs eat that detritus. Then, a fish eats one of those crabs. An octopus eats the fish. And a shark eats the octopus. 
Later, the shark dies, sinks to the bottom of the ocean, and with the help of those super cool bacteria and fungi becomes… You guessed it! Detritus! A scrumptious meal for a hungry crab! And so the brown food chain starts all over again. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Remember that green food chains start with living plants and brown food chains start with dead stuff. Such as plant remains, animal remains, or even poop. Green or brown? Brown, because it starts with plant remains. Dead stuff. On to the next one. Green or brown. Green, because it starts with grass, which is a producer that is alive. On to the last one. Green or brown? Brown! Because it starts with detritus or remains of the whale. See what I'm saying? Most food chains are brown. Great work! You've done a super job! So, even if you don't really feel like eating dead stuff for dinner, the animals we eat, or the ones they eat, sure do! Aren't food chains interesting? Now we know that there are many ways to classify them. Bon Appetit! See you next time! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.